in this video we are going to see how to use this sigma matrices to find out the measurement uncertainty or the cv percentage which needs to be maintained by the laboratory or to benchmark target cv percentage to achieve the world class performance that is six sigma or industry standard performance that is 4.5 sigma so till now we have seen how to use sigma matrix in the internal quality control now in this lecture we are going to see the measurement of uncertainty using the sigma matrix as the laboratory performance is generally measured in terms of cv percentage or measurement of uncertainty for each parameter which is also a accreditation in requirement as well as it is a parameter by which the necessary actions can be taken improve the quality of the test results or to provide more precise and accurate test results but what are these target cv percentage and what are this target measurement uncertainty for each parameters is difficult to conclude so many a times a laboratory wants to define the target standard deviation or the target cv percentage that could be achieved or that the laboratory needs to achieve but what are the standard deviation or what are the target cv percentage that should be targeted to achieve the level of performance is not clear and the laboratory do not have any idea what should be the target cv percentage so let us and see how to calculate the target cv percentage or target measurement uncertainty for each of the test parameter which are used or which are performed in the laboratory for this purpose consider the same formula where sigma matrix is equal to total allowable error in percent minus bias in percent divided by cv percent so if you rearrange this formula you will get cv percent is equal to total allowable error minus bias divided by sigma matrix now the target performance for each of the laboratory should be world class performance that is six sigma performance so now you have the total allowable error which can be obtained from the clia guidelines bias in the test method which again can be obtained from the proficiency testing program or by the accuracy experiment which is already performed in the laboratory the cv percentage can be calculated using the data total allowable error minus bias divided by 6 so what you will get is the cv percentage which should be targeted to maintain the world class performance of 6 sigma but now if you see it is very difficult to achieve the 6 sigma performance in the clinical laboratory so the industry standard suggest a performance of 4.5 sigma level is sufficient to maintain the quality as well as which is more realistic and practically achievable so here we are going to replace the six sigma matrix with the 4.5 sigma matrix so in this case the cv percentage will be total allowable error minus bias divided by 4.5 sigma so what you are going to get here will be the target cv percentage which should be maintained or which should be targeted to achieve the industry standard performance in the clinical laboratory now if you see in the clinical laboratory there are some test parameters like bilirubin direct bilirubin total where maintaining a cv percentage at low very low level is very difficult so for all practical purposes you know, for such type of parameters the standard deviation is targeted now what are the target standard deviation that should be targeted or that should be aimed to achieve a 4.5 sigma performance for all these parameters for this purpose again let us see a equation where the sigma matrix is equal to total allowable error minus bias divided by standard deviation where all the values are the actual values so from this the standard deviation 
will be equal to total allowable error minus bias in the actual values divided by the 4.5 sigma which is the industry standard so from this you can calculate the target standard deviation or the standard deviation which should be targeted by the clinical laboratory to achieve the industry standard performance now again in same place if you replace the 4.5 sigma with 6 sigma the standard deviation targeted will be a world class performance that will be required to achieve the 6 sigma matrix or that is targeted to achieve the world class performance so this is how the target standard deviation or the target cv percentage can be defined by the laboratory so as the quality can be monitored using the individual parameters where the cv percentage will be individualized or customized for each of the test parameters or the standard deviation will be customized for each of the test parameter so with this we will see one example for how to calculate the target cv percentage for a parameter for the industry standard performance as well as the world class performance so we are going to see the same example of cholesterol where the total allowable error is 10 the bias is 3 now here we are not going to consider the cv percentage as that is the target cv percentage which we want to find out for six sigma performance which is a world class performance or 4.5 sigma performance which is a industry standard performance so considering this data let us find out the world class performance for cholesterol so the total allowable error 10 minus bias 3 divided by 6 sigma so it will be 7 divided by 6 which will come as 1.166 cv percent so this is the cv percentage for cholesterol which needs to be maintained by the laboratory or which needs to be achieved by the laboratory to maintain the world class performance of six sigma so 1.33 becomes the benchmark cv percentage that can be defined by the laboratory to world to achieve the world class performance in case of internal quality control for cholesterol now in the same case if we want to consider the industry standard performance that is 4.5 sigma the 6 sigma can be replaced by 4.5 so in that case the target cv percentage will equal to 10 minus 3 divided by 4.5 so that becomes 7 divided by 4.5 which is equal to 1.55 percent so this is the target standard deviation target cv percentage for cholesterol which needs to be benchmarked or which needs to be achieved to maintain a industry standard performance or 4.5 sigma so here we have seen how to calculate the target cv percentage or target measurement uncertainty for each of the test parameters using the sigma matrices so what are the benchmark of benchmark cv percentage for individual parameter what are the benchmark standard deviation for individual parameter that can be defined with the help of sigma matrices at six sigma level or which is a world class performance or at 4.5 sigma level which is the industry standard performance with this we are closing this video Thank you and keep following more for the Six Sigma matrices in internal quality control. Thank you.